my name is Bella and today we are continuing the series of breaking all the shadow hide and behind outfits and we are doing neon shadow today yay so great how I rank these is in four categories first category is is it pretty second category is is it cool third does it go with their color scheme like what color they are does it really fit in with that and the fourth one is would I wear this and most likely no I would not wear this so that's the thing though with neon shadow out of all their outfits I would not wear it and it's not like cosplay wear it's um everyday wear so no <laughs> so none of them will get a point for what I wear this so we're just gonna take that off so it's basically the other three but we'll start with Miss Harley Limestone as she is neon green and I mean they're like pretty doll but we're not talking about the dolls today we're talking about their outfits so she has this sweatshirt with um MGA's <coughs> knockoff of Mickey Mouse because it can be called nothing else. It is literally Mickey Mouse, like the old cartoon versions, knocked off and turned into a cat. Literally. <coughs> um, Shadow High, you ever heard of copy and paste? Because that's what you did. <laughs> but that is true, though. It, it is honest. It is. They got Shadow all over it, you know. It looks like... I'm going to show you. You can't tell me that doesn't look exactly like Mickey Mouse. Exactly what <laughs> but um she has nicole's shorts from first outfit just with lime green in it or lime neon green she's got brianna's socks with green on it again and these are new shoes so kudos for her for having a new pair of shoes so i really do like the shoes the shoes are cute and they gave her cat ears i love the, like these like barbed cat ears very cute it does go really good with the outfit and like her whole theme i do really like it and one blue eye one purple eye Fantastic, that's so cool, so unique. I will forgive them for using purple eyes just because they um, did that, that was cool. Okay, but overall, outfit, like I said, none of them are getting points for what I wear this, but is it cool? Yes, is it pretty? Uh, uh, no, it's not pretty, so that's one point. And does it fit with her overall color scheme? Yes, she is full on, pretty much every color on here is more lime green because lime green down here, or sorry, neon green. Her last name is Limestone, so I'm just mixing lime and green today. And it's like a neon lime green. Green, 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 green. So most of it's green and black, but it's more green than black. And it does really go good with like the lime neon green color. It's spot on perfect neon green color. So point for that. So she gets, Miss Harley is having two points today and off my eye these shoes are i love those shoes i love those shoes hate rip you all know i hate ribbons but the shoes are phenomenal so miss harley gets two points and now we'll do i'm gonna do mara and i never did okay that's the thing here's the thing i did do mara's review but unfortunately that video got corrupted like in file or whatever so that was kind of sad so yeah she isn't getting a review and also it's just i don't really like this doll at all so yeah sorry and i mean I, her face is beautiful but everything i just don't like the doll and i don't know why i just don't like her like her face she's starting to grow on me like her face is really pretty and she's starting to grow on me but again i keep saying this and eventually i'll do it but once i restyle her i might like her better because it took me a restyle to get me to like some of the rainbow high dolls but like at this moment in time, uh, no, I'm just not liking her that much. But her first outfit, <laughs> sweetheart, sweetheart. I would not wear this ever, ever. It is, it's a short little like, definitely been cut. You can tell it's supposed to look like it's been cut. Like a, it used to be longer, it's cut. And she's wearing a, this is not a dress. This is an oversized shirt that she's wearing, not a dress oversized shirt because it can be called nothing else oversized shirt with Minnie Mouse on it <clears throat> sorry keep calling it Minnie Mouse Shadow High Shadow High Mouse or cat Shadow High Cat on it Minnie the Cat Minnie the Cat that's who it is Minnie the Cat on their shirt and it has these which is a different color pink with the long fabric boots that say shadow so again, it is a cool outfit. I'm giving it a point for it being cool. I didn't really like any of her outfit pieces at all. So, I mean, 
She does get a point for being cool. She doesn't get a point for it being pretty because it is not a pretty outfit. It is not. It's a hot mess outfit. And, um... Color scheme wise, okay, I'll give it a half a point for color scheme because it does have the hot pink. She's supposed to be neon pink. And I think neon pink, I kind of think this. Or, yeah, I think the shoes are the most, the best thing to represent the neon pink. Because it just, it doesn't have more. It's three pieces, and I think they could have done it a little bit better. Like, gave her pants or something because it's a long, it's a shirt. It is a Rainbow High actual shirt. You can't call. Let me show you. This is a brawl. This is not a shirt. If it go, if it's, yeah. <laughs> this is an actual shirt. This is a shirt. I don't care what MGA is trying to tell you. It. This is a shirt, and that's a shirt. This is a shirt. She's trying to turn into a dress. So okay, you do you. So I mean, this is a shirt. It's cute. Okay, enough of me ranting. It's cute. Okay, it, it's a cute shirt. I like the shirt, but um, it's not pretty. I would not wear it. <laughs> uh, it is cool. I do admit that it's a cool outfit, but overall color scheme is what I'm struggling on because it it doesn't have enough pieces for me to really really. So I'm gonna give it one and a half because I can't. It, it's just hard. It most of her color scheme coming from her hair than does from her outfit pieces. So I guess I'm giving it one and a half. One and a half. And now we'll do Uma. And for everyone who loves Mara out there, I'm sorry. Help, leave me a comment and tell me how to love this doll. <laughs> because I want to, I really want to. Honestly, I really want to like this doll. I really do. I just don't. <laughs> it's so sad because she's so pretty face mold wise. But everything else is. And MGA, fix your shout high stands because they suck. Now, other than that, Miss Uma. Love Uma. Uma's pretty. She has her smiley face of a shadow high hat and her earring and then like her white little netting top and then her other top which is sequins and black and then her shadow high pants and her um shadow high shoes so um i did do this doll's review oh shadow high stance suck she more just fell down great i did do this one's review but what i discovered was her leg was twisted in a very broken in way so yeah that was disappointing but my sister Edith somehow fixed it so her knees can bend now but it's a it, caution because when you get those with pants in MGA it's not just the faces that have quality issues because I have gotten um because I'm just gonna address this real quick three other dolls I think I had winter break Skylar come in you know she's full on winter break and one of her legs and in one of these coming up videos I will show you just so you see what I'm talking about her foot was, one was the actual supposed to be foot, and one was like a short, crumpled up, falling to pieces. Think of Mother Gothel from like Rapunzel, when she's old, and think of her foot, and that's what you got on Skylar. And it was, and I was, I waited for this doll to come in the mail for like two weeks, and then it finally came, and I was like, yes! And it was, and I was so disappointed, because I love that doll, but I can't now, because like, she's just, I will buy a new Sky Skylar one of these days. I will buy a new one of those, but yeah. And you gotta be careful when they're falling pieces because otherwise, three stories still great. Her leg came damaged because you can't tell from the legs. And um, Marlene, um, Rainbow, I mean, I know I've mispronounced her name. Rainbow Divas, the gold one, inside her case where the little basket's supposed to come, didn't come with that either. So I have three, those are the ones I can think of right now. Three bad experiences with other quality control issues that weren't in their face. So yeah, MGA. Here's your daily reminder, fix your quality. You can do it, I believe in you. Now, back to Uma. Her, is her outfit cool? Yes. Would I wear this? No. <laughs> but is it cool? Yes. And honestly, I think, overall, I think that it's a really pretty outfit. I, not like full on pretty, so it is cool, but I'm gonna give it a half a point for being pretty. Cause it is cool. And I'm gonna give it a half a point for being pretty. And color scheme, Honestly, I don't know her color scheme. I know it's supposed to be like neon blue, but it's kind of like purple and neon blue, so I can't really. So she's gonna get, cause um, color scheme's half, pretty half, and full on, um, yes. So that would be 
one and two halves, which round up to three. So basically the winner of this series is going to be Miss Uma. Out of just, she had the most points. It's not really about winning or losing in this one. It's just me ranting on and ranting these dolls and telling you how terrible the Shao High stands are. Use the Rainbow High stance if we're gonna stand them up. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to continue this series for a little bit. Thank you guys for watching. I will be doing their second outfit soon. Stay tuned for that. So subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. Again, thank you all so much for being here with me. I love it. And like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me which one's your favorite first outfit. And I will see you guys later.